simple linear regression. The study of relationship between a dependent variable and one independent variable is known as simple linear regression. Here, the dependent variable is a variable whose value is to be predicted and is also known as explained variable. And independent variable is a variable whose value is used for prediction and is also known as explanatory variable. Examples, advertising and sales, age and blood pressure, height and weight, etc. Denoting one of the variables as a dependent variable and the other variable as an independent variable, the cause and effect relationship between them can be studied using a regression analysis. In case of two variables, we have two regression equations, otherwise known as regression lines, namely regression equation x on y and regression equation y on x. The general form of the regression equation x on y is x is equal to a plus b y, where x is the dependent variable, a is the x-intercept, b is the slope of the line, and y is the independent variable. This equation gives the most probable values of x for given values of y. Similarly, the general form of the regression equation y on x is y is equal to c plus dx, where y is the dependent variable, c is the y-intercept, d is the slope of the line, and x is the independent variable. This equation gives the most probable values of y for given values of x. Let's now proceed with the problem. Given the following data, sales and purchases. Calculate the two regression equations. Find out the likely sales when purchasing expenses of rupees 150 crores. What should be the purchasing expenses if the company wants to attain a sales target of rupees 170 crores? So the first step is to calculate two regression equations. Therefore, let us write the formula. The formula for finding regression equation x on y is x minus x bar equal to summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by summation y minus y bar whole square into y minus y bar. Similarly, for regression equation y on x, we have y minus y bar is equal to summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by summation x minus x bar whole square into x minus x bar. Where x bar equal to summation x by n and y bar equal to summation y by n denotes the mean values of x and y respectively. Note that these two formulae is to be used when we find deviations of x and y from their mean values. Therefore, the first step is to calculate x bar and y bar. For which, first write all the x values. Note that we have denoted sales by the variable x and purchases by the variable y. Write all the y values and find their total. Now find x bar which is summation x by n. n denotes number of values which is 90. Similarly y bar is equal to summation y which is 700 by n is equal to 70. So using these two values let's now proceed with the remaining calculations x minus x bar this gives you the values of x minus x bar which is its mean value let's now proceed with the values first value 91 minus x bar is 90 91 minus 90 is equal to 1 x minus x bar whole square. Therefore, we get 1 square which is 1. Similarly, find y minus y bar. y minus y bar. y minus y bar. First value 71 minus 70 is equal to 1. y minus y bar whole square. 1 square which is 1. Now, x minus x bar into y minus y bar x minus x bar is 1 into y minus y bar is 1. Therefore, we get 1. Let's now proceed with the second value. 97 
minus 9t will give you 7. Now 7 square is 49. Similarly 75 minus y bar 70 will give you the difference 5. 5 square is 25. Now x minus x bar into y minus y bar. 7 into 5 which is 35. So proceeding similarly we can calculate all the values which is given in this table. So get x its total y values its total x minus x bar its total x minus x bar whole square total values y minus y bar total value y minus y bar whole square total value similarly x minus x bar into y minus y bar find its total now proceed with regression equation x on y so substituting all these values in, re in the formula for regression equation x on y we get x minus x bar is equal to summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by summation y minus y bar whole square into y minus y bar on simplifying we get x is equal to 1.3598 y minus 5.186 as the regression equation x on y now note this as equation number one similarly substituting all these values in the regression equation over here next formula we get y minus y bar y minus 70 is equal to summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar which is 3900 divided by summation x minus x bar whole square 6360 into x minus x bar on simplifying we get y is equal to 0.6132x plus 14.812 as the regression equation y on x and note this as equation number 2. Let's now proceed with the question number 2. Find out the likely sales when purchasing expenses are rupees 150 crores. To find x, to find x when when y value is equal to 150. Therefore, for this, we have to use the regression equation x on y because y is known here. y is equal to 150 is given. Therefore, substituting y is equal to 150 in regression equation x on y, we get x is equal to 198.784. Similarly, let's proceed with question number 3. What should be the purchasing expenses if the company wants to attain a sales target of rupees 170 crores? To find Y, to find Y when X is equal to 170. Therefore, let us substitute X is equal to 170 because X is equal to 170 is given known value in regression equation y on x we get y is equal to 119.056 hence we have learned how to find the unknown values if value is known using two regression equations